Hello friends, this video on combustion and flame part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now when we talk about ignition temperature, it becomes very important to, to, to talk about two important concepts. One is flash point, the other is auto ignition temperature. Now what are, what are these two and how are they different from each other? Now whenever, now there are two things, now any combustible substance. One way is the substance is so highly reactive that it can catch fire on its own. So just that if you heat that substance, it will immediately catch fire on its own. The second thing is the substance always need a source to ignite it. For example, certain things need something else to initiate the process of ignition. So when we talk about flash point, it is the lowest temperature at which a substance can vaporize to form an ignitable mixture in air. So in case of flash point, an ignition source is needed. So you need an external substance in order to start the process of ignition. So let us take this example. For example, if you think of kerosene. So kerosene is a combustible substance, right? So if you talk about the flash point of kerosene, it is somewhere around 38 to 72 degrees Celsius. That is the flash point of kerosene. Now, what do we mean by flash point of kerosene? Now, if you compare the flash point of kerosene with that of wood, so if you look at the flash point of wood, it is around it is quite higher when compared to uh, kerosene. Now, since wood has a higher flash point than kerosene, therefore kerosene catches fire more easily. Now, if you want, if you have two scenarios, in the first scenario, you have few logs of wood. In the second scenario, you have few logs of wood with kerosene spilled over it. So which of these two will catch fire easily? The second one because it has kerosene and kerosene has a lower flash point. So it will very easily get ignited when an ignition source is there. Ignition source means maybe you bring a matchstick near it. So that matchstick acts as the ignition source. So the kerosene will get converted into vapors and during this vaporization we see it as fire. So that because that is an ignitable mixture which is seen in the air. So this flash point actually indicates the combustibility of a substance. So whichever substance has higher flash point, it, its combustibility is little lesser. Now similarly, if you look at the flash point of diesel, it has a flash point of around 52 to 96 degrees Celsius. Now why do you have this range? That means anywhere between these two temperatures, maybe in any temperature between 38 to 72 degrees Celsius, kerosene can catch fire if there is an ignition source present. Now on its own it will not catch fire at these temperatures. So the, at these temperatures it will catch fire only if there is an ignition source present. Now the next concept is auto ignition temperature. Auto means self. So anything ignition which happens by itself that is auto ignition. So it is the lowest temperature at which a substance ignites spontaneously. So in this case you really do not need an ignition source. You do not need external ignition source. So when a substance, when a combustible substance reaches this temperature, it will ignite on its own. Suddenly it will get ignited. Now, when you look at the same kerosene, so we, we found, we saw the flash point of kerosene which was somewhere around 32 to 70 degrees Celsius. Now when you look at the auto ignition temperature of kerosene, you see that it is somewhere around 295 degrees Celsius, which is very high. So what does this mean? This means that kerosene has a flash point which is in the range of 38 degree to 72 degree Celsius. That means within that temperature range, it can get ignited if there is an ignition source present only with an external ignition source. But 
If there is no external ignition source, kerosene by itself will not catch fire until and unless it has reached a temperature of 295 degrees Celsius. So let us suppose there is no external ignition source, there is no matchstick, nothing. But if you start heating kerosene such that it reaches a temperature of 295 degrees Celsius, then it will automatically get ignited. So it will catch fire on its own. So that is why this temperature is called auto ignition temperature. So please understand the difference between two flash point is only when you have an external source which can make that object catch fire and auto ignition means you do not need any source once the object is heated to that temperature it will catch fire on its own so here no external source is needed so no ignition source is needed so let us look at few other examples. So take example of coal. So the ign auto ignition temperature of coal is around 500 degrees Celsius. That means if you heat coal to this temperature, coal will catch fire on its own. And that is what happens in so many coal mines. We have discussed about coal mines, right? Coal formation takes place deep under the ground. Now, wherever you have huge coal mines, now since the temperature deep inside the earth is very high, so sometimes what happens is the temperature increases so much that it reaches around 500 degrees Celsius and that is when coal gets ignited spontaneously on its own and that is how we have coal fires in the mines. You take example of wood. So in case of wood, this auto ignition temperature is around 300 degrees Celsius. So if wood is heated to 300 degrees Celsius, it starts to release hydrocarbons which react with oxygen in the air and that's how it catches fire. So whenever we talk about auto ignition temperature, it is a temperature to which if you heat a particular combustible substance, then that substance will catch fire on its own. So that is auto ignition temperature. So auto ignition temperature also uh, tells us or it also indicates the combustibility of a substance. So a substance which has a higher auto ignition temperature. So that substance will not catch fire easily. For example, if you compare coal and wood. So if you heat both coal and wood, so which will catch fire faster? Wood, because as soon as wood reaches 300 degrees Celsius, there only it will catch fire. But for coal, it can go beyond 300 and it can go up to 500 degrees Celsius. So any object, so both these things, flash point and auto ignition temperature, both of these indicate the combustibility of substance. So knowing these values, we can predict which substances will catch fire more easily than others. And knowing combustibility of various substances, we can choose each of them for various purposes. For example, I'll give you some common examples. In, our, in the cylinders which are used in our kitchen to prepare food. So what kind of fuel do we use? Do we use coal? No. What do we use? We use LPG. Why? Right? Because uh, if you look at the properties of LPG, so this is another fact that LPG also has yeah, many advantages like it does not cause pollution and it is a clean fuel and etc. But other than that also when you know the ignition temperature and the flash point of these fuels you can actually decide whether this fuel will be suitable for this purpose or not because when you are preparing food you deal with a specific range of temperatures. So when you are keeping the cylinder in your house, so that cylinder is exposed to the room temperatures. So basically you can decide whether uh, that particular fuel will be suitable for that purpose knowing its auto ignition temperature and flash point. Thank you. Please visit www.examfuel.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.